welcome back to another video on let's cook that today i'm gonna be baking i haven't baked in a while so let's see how this turns out but let's make a delicious flour the ingredients are the following five eggs three fourth cups of sugar one of the original cream cheese we're going to be using the pure vanilla extract one can of the evaporated milk of the carnation one lechera condensed milk and of course, a blend. What we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and get a, um, a pan. We're gonna go ahead and put it low, low to medium to low. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour the sugar. We're gonna wanna melt the sugar. And so we could get a nice caramelized color. I'm gonna go ahead and add like three tablespoons of water. so it could get a different color. So we're gonna slowly go ahead and just move it. It's gonna get a little rocky at first, but then it's gonna start melting very nice. So you are gonna wanna like keep an eye on this because you don't want your sugar to burn either. So while we're waiting for our sugar, we're gonna go ahead and add our five eggs. We're gonna go ahead and add condensed milk. Get everything in there. Go ahead and add our carnation. And then our cream cheese. Let's come and take a look at our sugar. It's starting to get caramelized, but we need this to start changing color to like a light brown color. While we wait for our sugar, I'm going to talk about our baking sheets. Usually, it's done in a round one. I do have a round one, but it didn't fit inside this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it in this one today. And you have to get a, 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 a baking sheet that's gonna fit inside another baking sheet that you're gonna have space to add water around it. And the round one I had, it was too, it would fit, but it wouldn't sit down on, on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it this one today. And then we're gonna blend this. As, we're gonna blend this as soon as our sugar is done. Remember I told you that it's gonna be getting rocky at first? That's perfect, that's what we want. We want all these crystal little rocks and it's gonna start melting on its own. When you mix it, just be careful because I did splash it all over so I made a mess. And it's gonna start loosening up on its own as you can see right there because the sugar is going to start melting. As you can see, you're starting to get that caramel color. That's exactly what we want. And it start first it got all stuck around it and now slowly it's starting to get unstuck. Just be careful right here. You don't want to burn it. And be careful when you're mixing the sugar because I did make a mess. But I guess that's the part of cooking, right? Making mess. So once it starts getting brown, make sure do not leave it unattended. You have to keep on mixing it because you do not want to burn it because then you don't want that bitter taste. So once everything dissolves, we are going to remove it. This is all done. Let's turn this off and let's bring it over here. We're going to go ahead and pour it in the baking um, sheet that you're going to use. You need to do it really hard. I mean, really hard, really <laughs> fast so it won't get hard. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is move it around all over. Be very careful, okay, because this is very hot. You actually could burn yourself. You could do it um, around the walls, like a little bit, not all the way, but just a little bit, but make sure you coat all the bottom of it. And 
right after this I did turn on the um, the oven to 350 and we're gonna go ahead and blend this let's come over here we'll blend it like for a minute blend this already and this looks pretty hard already so when you pour it it's not going to go all over the place a lot of people don't do this step it's okay but if you do um when you pour it through the strainer it gives it a like a smoother texture so we're going to go ahead and pour it in slowly And then we're gonna go ahead and bring it into the other baking sheet. And then what we're gonna do is pour water only half ways. Then it's halfway, right? Yes. Room temperature water, warm water, do not put cold water. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Some people do put foil paper so no water gets in there, but if you actually only put the water halfway, you'll be okay. So let's go ahead and open the oven and we're gonna be very careful. Oops, see, oops. Very careful and put it in there and we'll leave it in there for one so, hour. Once I put it in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the mess I did with the sugar because if I don't do this, what's gonna happen with the heat of the oven, the sugar's gonna melt all over the stove top and we don't want that to happen. So let's keep on cleaning. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's go ahead and check this to see if it's done. What I'm gonna do is get a butter knife and we're gonna um, let me pull it out a little bit. I'm gonna poke it right through the middle to see if it comes out clear. It looks pretty clear to me. So once it came out clear, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the oven and get that out. If it did not come out clear, just give it like 10 more minutes and check it again to see if it's clear or how much time you need. Every oven is different, so it varies. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And be very careful when you take it out because the water is very hot. Remember when I put it in, I spilled a little bit, so now I have to be extra careful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take this out, remove it, but like I said, be very careful. And set it aside so it could cool down. We need this to cool down to room temperature for about an hour to an hour and a half. Okay, so once it cools down, I'm going to go ahead and put some foil paper, cover it up, take it to the refrigerator for about three to four hours, or you can leave it overnight. So I'll see you guys in a okay, bit. Guys, it's been about three to four hours. I'm going to go ahead and take this out because these kids are dying to try it. So what I'm going to do is gonna with the butter knife, I'm just going to go around the whole edges. And since I didn't make it round. I'm not going to put it on a plate. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the um, cookie sheets to flip it. What I'm going to do is put this over and then slowly flip it around and let's cross our fingers that it doesn't stay stuck. Oh, baby, look at this. I just saw it come out. Oh, my God. I can see this yummy. Oh. oh. Look how good this is. All the extra of the sugar, make sure you put it on here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make another one. This looks bomb. <laughs> Let me hold on. Here comes the fun part. Let's cut it. Oh my God. I don't even wanna cut this, but all right. Here we go. How do I cut it? Like this? Yeah, I'll cut it like this. Oh, yes, it me so well. I look. I probably get a, should have got a spatula for this. Now, the best part is trying it. Let's see if it tastes good, just like it looks good. So, let's try this. 
Look how, how creamy it is. Let's try this. Mmm. Tastes like flan, but creamy. So like a cheesecake. I don't know, but this is good. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up like always, you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And if you already subscribed, thank you for watching, for all your support, and we love you.